up everybody, I'm going to be doing a Bible review on the HCSB Ultra Thin Dark Brown Cowhide Leather, leather Bible. Okay, so let's go over the pros and cons. First, let's go over the pros, okay? The pros are the spine on this is beautiful. It's very, very nice. Um, this comes with these little nubs right here. I, this is the only Bible that I had that have these nubs. At first, I was like, oh, man, it looks hella old school. But after a while, I was like, man, this is pretty fancy. So I actually enjoy the nubs. They're, they're pretty cool. Um, the second thing that I liked about this is the color. You know, here's a, this, this table is a light brown. This is a dark brown. So it's like this espresso looking color. I wish all of my furniture was this color. That was pretty cool. And another thing that I liked was, well, I'm gonna say I like and don't like, but the translation itself I thought was really cool. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna read for enjoyment on your own personal time, I, I enjoyed the HCSB or the CSB translation. It's pretty good for your, when you're just by yourself and you're just trying to enjoy the word, you know. Now, let's get to the cons. The cons are, this is supposed to be an ultra-thin Bible. When you read ultra-thin, you're like, oh my gosh, it's going to be 0.85 inches thick. It turns out to be like an inch and a half thick. This is not ultra-thin, okay? This is not even thin line. This is a normal, standard Bible thickness. So, I felt like they just lied to me. Because when I bought it, I was like, man, this is going to be a really good handheld Bible. I could take to the park and just read it on my own time. But no, nah, man, this thing's kind of heavy. It's, it's got to be at least three pounds. So this is not an ultra thin, even though the title says ultra thin. The second thing, the translation, um, I felt like it's good to enjoy it to read, but you, you just can't teach out of it because a lot of verses, I feel like the power is just taken off of it. I don't want to call it paraphrase, but you know, it's supposed to be the best balance between literal translations and readable translations. Okay, it's supposed to be, but I don't know, I feel like it's more readable than literal. And um, another thing I liked about it was in this translation, they used the name Yahweh. I thought that was pretty cool. So this is the only Bible that I have that uses the name Yahweh. So that, that was pretty cool. Um, what else do I like, like or not like about this? Um, the text is pretty good. The text is pretty clear. I know you can't tell, but the text itself is pretty clear, pretty easy to read. Paper is kind of cheap paper, but the thing I did not like about it was the references. You know, if I if I could like zoom into that reference, let me see if I could try to. The references in this Bible are freaking horrible, man. I don't even know how to use it. You see that thing in the middle right there? This right here? It's it's horrible. Like I can barely see it, and I don't even know how to use it. Like it's so not user friendly. It's very difficult to use, man. So I did not, I definitely did not like the reference in the middle thing. It's, it's a horrible reference, which is probably why I got this thing on sale. I only got this for 20 bucks. A cowhide genuine leather for 20 bucks, you know, something's got to be fishy. So it's probably not selling that well, but it's okay. For 20 bucks, you can't beat it, you know. It, it does come with some nice maps, very colorful maps. As you can see, the color is very rich, you know what I mean? So I got no problem with the maps. The concordance. Excellent, excellent size concordance, you know, but all in all, man, if you want to get a, a good Bible for bang for its buck, this is a good Bible for bang for its buck. It's going to feel good. It's going to look good. It's kind of heavy. It's not ultra thin, even though it says it's ultra thin. And the translation, you know, is good for fun, you know, when you just want to go and read the word and, and just have fun in your Bible, man, this is a good translation. If you like this Bible, I'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to buy it. Thank you so much.